Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode on Math Olympiad Number Theory. Number Theory is a very beautiful part of mathematics, and we will work on one problem related to the properties of integers today. Let me tell you what the problem is. It says that there is a number d such that d is equal to a square plus b square plus c square. So the number d is a sum of three squares. And it's an, everything is an integer. Moreover, A and B are said to be consecutive integers. So they are coming one after another. Okay. Finally, C, the number C, is product of A and B. So A, B are consecutive. C is equal to A, B. And D is equal to A squared plus B squared plus C squared. With this, you have to show that square root of D square root of d is an odd integer is an odd integer so it's not only an integer it's an odd integer so this is a perfect square that's the first thing we have to show uh, this video is cre created at chinta.com as you know chinta has outstanding programs in mathematical olympiads physics olympiad isi cmi entrances you can check the link in the description for more detail so for this particular problem all you need to know is an algebraic identity. That is, a plus b whole square is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you know this, then you would be done. Nothing else is necessary. So, I'll just give you a minute to think about it, and then I'll start discussing the problem with you. Okay? So, what we will do is, we can assume either a is bigger than b or b is bigger than a. So, there is no loss in generality if we assume A is greater than B. So, we will assume that A is equal to B plus 1. Okay? And with that assumption, we will do some simplification. So, let me go to the next page. So, D is equal to A square plus B square plus C square. But we have assumed that A is equal to B plus 1 because A and B are consecutive integers and we have assumed a is greater than b so now we can write b plus 1 whole square a square is b plus 1 whole square plus b square plus c we know that c is equal to a b right we know that c is equal to a b since a is equal to b plus 1 c is equal to b plus 1 into b so now i can write c square as b into b plus 1 whole square. Okay? So now what, what we'll do is we will expand everything. We multiply out and expand everything. So this becomes b square plus 2b plus 1. And then we have b square here. This is where we use the formula of a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And this one is b square times b square plus 2b plus 1. That's all. Okay, so now we have b square plus 2b plus 1 plus b square plus b to the power 4 plus 2b cube plus b square. Right? So we have expanded everything. So let's combine the like terms and see what we get. So b to the power 4 plus 2b cube plus 3b square plus 2b plus 1. That is the totally expanded form. Now, this is actually square of a certain expression. What is that expression? b square plus b plus 1. You can factorize this entire thing into b squared plus b plus 1 into b squared plus b plus 1. So, can you tell me in the comment section why this is possible? And if this is possible, then d is this. So, square root of d is d, b squared plus b plus 1. Can you tell me in the comment section why is this an odd integer? This is an integer because b is an integer. But why is this an odd integer? Tell me in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.